Welcome back. Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. Hey, be the first on the block to hit that subscribe button to help me out a little bit. This week, we have a sulky restoration. Sulky. The heck is that? Well, it's a one-horse cart. You've probably seen these along the way. I know I have. I haven't recently. I don't hang around horses. But we got a friend who picked one of these up. She wanted to use it. She wanted it restored to where she could use it. And that really wasn't going to happen. Um, it was just too far gone. So we talked about it, and she decided she really likes it. She likes the look of it, and she wanted to use it as yard art. And I said, okay, we can clean this up and make it look like something for you. Uh, you can see there's a lot of wood on here. There's also a lot of metal and some curved pieces and some bent pieces and whatever else. But it was in reasonable shape, obviously, this thing has been sitting outside for a while. It's quite pretty um, when it was new, but it's not so nice when it found us. See, I got straps and things on there just to hold this thing together because there's some missing bolts and who knows what all. And the bolts and shackles and leaf springs and the suspension for this because the guy actually would sit on it and ride along with it. There's a front board where you would put your feet up against that board there. You're looking forward here. See, there's some leather straps in there. We have to deal with that. And this is part of why we didn't restore it so she could actually use it. Uh, new wheels are very expensive, and she didn't want to spend that much money. So we said, okay, we can straighten that out a little bit. And we did, and we sanded and cleaned them up. But, you know, you got to take everything apart. So we did. A lot of square head bolts, a lot of things uh, rusted together, and the paint was really thick, and the wood was really old. Some of the wood we were able to save, some of it we just had to replace, and uh, pretty much all of that had to go away. <laughs> you wind up with a big pile of rusty bolts and things along the way. And we know this is going to sit outside, so we have to make sure that we get good stainless uh, hardware when we go to putting this back together. Here's a look at a couple of metal strips that we were able to clean up, and we sanded off uh, some of the wood parts and found that they were good, and we used the, reused those. We know it's not going to be used for people, so it didn't have to be super safe. And the wheels cleaned up. Well, that was a messy, dry, dusty kind of thing to do, but that's what we do. Here's the leaf springs we had all apart. A little bit of spray paint. Helps them out got to clean them pretty good before you do that, but that's okay. It's what we do. And here's the axle assembly. Once we got it all cleaned up and put back together. We did not spray paint the wheels. We, uh, we brushed those. Here's some new white oak slats. We had a flat piece, which was wide, had to be glued together, and then we have a bunch of slats that go on individually and get bolted up to the frame. We went over to the real paint store as opposed to the Lowe's and told them what the project was and told them what we were up to, actually brought in a piece of wood and said, what paint do I use for this? And that's what we came up with. Eventually, you get to putting your thing back together and this is what it winds up looking like. You know, we're close to done on that. And there's a reminder of what we started with. Goofy straps and busted bent pieces and paint peeling off and all that sort of business. And then we get around to the reason she brought it to us. She said, hey, Harold, help me out here. I said, okay. And she again, she's going to use this as yard art. She does have a horse property. So she was hoping to be able to utilize this, but when I showed her what the wheels were and where we were, she wasn't too upset about not being able to actually use it. It's a nice thing to think about, but this thing went together really well. That uh, white oak came up a little on the orange side there, but it, yeah, it, it, this whole thing worked really well. Sulky, I never even knew really what a sulky was, so when she called me up and said I have one, I didn't know what I was getting into. Turned out to be a great piece. Um, she's using it as yard art. She has to decide where she's going to put it, but I'm sure she's decided by now. Hey, this is Errol Osmer, West Deals Wood. Be sure to like, subscribe, and send beer.